welcome back again so back on the mini today um got a few little bits and pieces to do i'm not sure everything i recorded the other day when i was in here worked so uh, i'll probably go over a couple of bits just in case so um today i'm going to try and get the driver's side uh, subframe brace bar done have another look at the alternator mounting and um, play around with bits and pieces so I'll uh, get you set up somewhere so you can follow along for a bit. see I've got the accelerator pedal mounted just bolted a couple of different I need to get probably I'm probably gonna get two of those to mount it to the bulkhead it's quite solid I actually shortened this pedal uh, because if I didn't it would have come down somewhere down here and it would have been far too long so it feels like a nice spot it's mounted it's a little bit higher than the brake probably could have done with the brake pedal being a bit higher but I think next job I'm gonna have a look at fitting the clutch and brake master cylinders if I can. Hello, so I spent a reasonable bit of time, um, let me just switch that off, reasonable bit of time at the weekend getting some bits and pieces done on the Mini and trying to video as much as I could so I had some little bits and pieces but most of the video was either hopeless i.e. the um, I put the camera in a silly place, blocked it, I didn't record what I thought I was recording, I'd not press record, I'd, uh, and even a little bit of a um, memory card error in there. So I'll have a little show you through. I think I managed to get the bit where I've videoed the throttle pedal installation, and I'll show you a little bit more. So as you can see down here, there's a little piece, can you see? That, that that's a clutch and brake master cylinder they're, they're ones for a remote reservoir you can see how close they mount just there to the uh, manifold not quite bolted down fully but that's roughly where they're going to sit I may well modify this box just to give it a little bit more clearance because there's plenty of clearance with the clutch not so much with the brake master so I may modify that a little bit I've also that box took me most of the day to make but I've also got this engine mount just wedged up a little bit with this extension just to tilt it forward a little bit and then I've taken out the rubber of the mount that's down there to then uh, put a bolt in place to lower this um, front edge of the engine down so this front end's got clearance because before that was rubbing as you can see there where I've just been trying to run it a little bit so I need to modify that engine mount down there I also need to modify that engine mount there just to lower that because um, that gives me a bit more clearance at the back there but it brings that drive shaft up close to the subframe there so I also need to see if I can just cut away a little bit more down there with the subframe to allow that drive shaft movement and to spin freely so it's quite a busy weekend in the end doing lots of bits and pieces but I've got a little bit more to do now so I've got this little um, buzz bar for 12 volt feed because I've got a few things I need to put a permanent 12 volt to uh, relays and such like so I'm going to mount this on the bulkhead just about there that's going to go about there um, oops. so I can run a 12 volt feed to it from the battery and then that can go off to things like the radiator fan and wherever else I shall most likely use inline fuses with those things that I'm feeding with that Having taken the time to um, film installation of the buzz bar, I didn't then talk about it and tell you what's happening next. So what I'm doing here is just putting together a little wiring loom with a relay for the cooling fan for the radiator. 
This video has ended up a bit of a mishmash of all sorts of stuff. I've done quite a bit of work on the car. I've um, done a bit, lot more than what I've showed you so far. So I'm going to grab me um, my GoPro and just have a bit of a wander around the car and show you a few of the bits that I've done in the last week or so. I've not really had a decent full day where I can set the camera up and start talking to it and videoing and doing all that sort of stuff. I've not had that for the last couple of weeks. So I've just been trying to squeeze an hour here and there after work or um, during the weekend or whatever. I've been just busy um, work. A couple of the kids have had COVID again, so it's been a bit of a nightmare just lately. So all these little bits, sometimes I haven't got time to faff about with cameras. I just want to get stuck in and work on the car. Sometimes I just want to work on the car anyway, because that's what I enjoy the most. Uh, other times I do want to video stuff and talk to you guys, but what I'll do now is I'll grab my GoPro and have a little bit of a walk around the car and talk through some of the bits and pieces that I've done and what's next. I'm probably not going to remember exactly what I've already showed you or already talked about. So in terms of the cooling system, that's come on a little bit since the last video I made of it. I've replaced that kind of um, pigeon poo welding pipe that I'd cobbled together. I've replaced that with a al nice aluminium uh, thing got this hose adapter goes to the large size there this runs along goes into this rubber hose for the top hose I've got an adapter here with a temperature sender that fits in there I've turned it that way up rather than having it sticking up just because it's going to be a neater run for the wiring to go down there and eventually into the car there so this these two wires are a temporary solution just to plug into this radiator fan um, that's the earth going onto there so that goes over here to this relay from this relay this wire runs down here into the wiring loom for the ECU that goes into the ECU and that's actually the original control for the cooling fan so I can plug the software in that I've showed you before uh, hit the start activation and it runs the cooling fan I think I've, I've made a little video of that for uh, on TikTok so if you're interested go and have a search for it on there um, so I've done that so that all works I've got this buzz bar fitted so on here I've got one wire that goes down to the where the battery cable goes onto the starter motor to feed power to this bus bar Then I've got this wire comes off and goes to the cooling fan relay and this wire comes off and feeds some of the uh, cars electrical systems there is one more wire that feeds the rest of the car electrical systems that goes onto the back of the starter motor so what I'll do is I'll try and jump underneath and show you some of the bits under there because I couldn't show you very clearly. That that one's for the alternator uh, wiring. That'll be live. I need to fit an alternator still and, and connect that up. So I don't know how well you can see up there. I shortened this battery cable. Um, it goes up to the starter motor and there's a few, I think there's three altogether cables that join onto there that are the main positive 12 volt feeds. Uh, in in addition to that I think I've already showed you I made this little standoff for the brake and clutch master cylinders to go on I've mounted the throttle pedal and what I've done I, I've started I've disconnected and removed the gear selector linkage again and I'm just working out remounting that in a different way because I wasn't entirely happy with how it was mounted so going back over all that again it really does feel like I haven't done a great deal so I don't think that's going to be the end of this video I think I'm going to do a little bit more before I finalize this video and get it out so my plans for this weekend are going to be to alter those engine mounts although I may need to order a bit more steel for that certainly I'm going to mount the gear lever again gear selector again and look at mounting the alternator and maybe if I have chance to start work on the brace bar for this side I can use the original brace bar for that side but the engine gets in the way a bit this side so a fair bit more to do still hopefully we'll be in this video that's all for this one pretty much I've got a little bit more footage uh, it's a video I uploaded to TikTok of running the engine up with water in the cooling system and making sure the cooling fan comes in cuts out the audio is not great and the video is filmed in portrait mode so uh, it's not ideal but have a look i'll try and work out how to get it into this video without um having the black bars i'll try and do something about that but stick around for that and then uh, let me know what you think in the comments afterwards thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time
windings irritated, but I've got it outside and I've got See what happens. That's the alternator. Sounds a bit naughty. I've also stopped the squealing. There is an air leak on the back of the bottom of this box. I'll just nip that up a little bit and it stopped squealing. It's idling much better as well. Let's have a little look see what happens. on the cooling system we got to 101 degrees the fan came on and kept it stable but it was getting quite hot the engine was making some kind of uh, pinking noises so I've turned it off and let it cool down I've got some problems with the cooling system I think the radiator is too high or the expansion tanks too low so I need to do something about that because the top of the radiator isn't getting coolant and it's not getting full flow so I need to unmount that from there and perhaps move it up here or even just put a bleed screw in the top of the radiator there but then that still needs to be higher up to be able to fill it up so a bit more work to do in the interest of progress I've cable tied the header tank to there turned that round and put that sensor at the top lifted it up and got some air out so I'm going to bleed it again small success so cooling temperature is currently 95 degrees the fan comes on at 100 degrees which has just come on and gone off Cooling system works. I need to mount the header tank higher and put a bleed screw at the front there, and I need a bleed screw in the the hood. Put the fan on now. Temperature's at 98 degrees, and it is steadily coming down. Just cut it out. 